Welcome to the Greg and Lisa Show. As we reflect on Labor Day, which we just observed, let's take a deeper look at the significance of this holiday from a faith-based perspective. Labor Day is often seen as a time for rest, barbecues, and the unofficial end of summer. However, its origins and the values it represents resonate far deeper, especially when viewed through the lens of Christian faith. In Genesis, we see the first example of work when God created the heavens and the earth. For six days, He worked, shaping and forming all that we see and know. On the seventh day, God rested, not because He was tired, but to set a pattern for us a rhythm of work and rest that we are meant to follow. This divine example reminds us that our labor has value, but so does our rest. Both are integral to the life God desires for us. Moreover, after creating the world, God placed Adam in the Garden of Eden and instructed him to work it and take care of it. This was before the fall, indicating that work was part of God's perfect creation. In Genesis 2.15, we read, The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. This scripture shows us that work is not a punishment, but a divine assignment given by God to fulfill His purpose on earth. It is through our work that we participate in God's ongoing creation, contributing to the flourishing of the world around us. As Christians, we are called to view our work not just as a means to an end, but as a form of worship. Colossians 3.23 tells us, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters. This scripture challenges us to approach our daily tasks, whether they are grand or mundane, with a spirit of dedication and excellence, knowing that our true reward comes from serving God. Yet, while diligence in our work is important, Labor Day also prompts us to reflect on the importance of rest. Jesus, during his time on earth, exemplified this balance. He worked tirelessly in his ministry teaching, healing, and serving others. But he also knew when to withdraw from the crowds and find solitude in prayer, reconnecting with his Father. This teaches us that rest is not a sign of weakness or laziness, but a necessary part of spiritual and physical renewal. Although Labor Day has passed, it's still a meaningful time to honor the balance between work and rest that God established. It's an opportunity to acknowledge the efforts of those who came before us, who fought for fair labor practices and the dignity of work. It's also a time to consider how we can incorporate these principles into our own lives, ensuring that our work honors God and that we don't neglect the rest He commands us to take. Let's also remember those who may not have had the luxury of rest those working in difficult or underappreciated jobs, those struggling to make ends meet, and those who have lost work. As we continue through this week, let's lift them up in prayer, asking God to provide for their needs and to grant them peace and strength. Finally, this post-Labor Day reflection is an opportunity to express gratitude. Gratitude for the work we have, for the ability to provide for our families, and for the rest that renews us. Let us use this time to reset, to reconnect with God, and to recommit ourselves to the work He has called us to do both in our jobs and in our spiritual lives. May we, as followers of Christ, strive to balance our labor with rest, keeping our focus on the eternal purpose that God has set before us. Let this reflection on Labor Day be a time of renewal and rededication to living out our faith in all that we do. Thank you for joining us on this special episode, and may God bless you as you honor Him in your work and your rest.